Hi, welcome to the Advanced Networking Demo Series. In today's video, we'll be covering the topic of cross-cloud interconnect. My name is Ahmed, and I'm a developer relations engineer, and I'm super excited to be bringing this video to you. If you're ready to dive in, let's get started. In a previous video, we saw an overview of Cloud Interconnect. We introduced the new CrossCloud Interconnect service, and we saw a configuration demo. To do a quick recap, CrossCloud Interconnect is part of the Cloud Interconnect family, which is comprised of dedicated and partner interconnects. CrossCloud Interconnect is perfect for multi-cloud strategies and allows you to configure high-speed dedicated connections directly from Google Cloud to your other cloud providers. Today, I'm super excited to be introducing you to networking specialist Nick, who will take you through another CrossCloud Interconnect demo, this time between Google Cloud and AWS. Let's hand it over to Nick. Thanks, Amit. In this demo, we're going to establish a cross-cloud interconnect connection between Google Cloud and another cloud provider. For this example, the other cloud provider is going to be AWS. Now, I'm going to have to select a common location for which to establish the cross-cloud interconnect connection. And in this case, for this example, the location is going to be Madrid. Now, in this demo, I'm going to show how easy it is to provision and establish a cross-cloud interconnect connection using our console. Now with that, let's jump right into the demo. Now in the console under hybrid connectivity, I selected the interconnect tab. Now, as you can see, we can see three different types of interconnect. I will select the cross cloud interconnect connection and click continue. Next, I'm going to order a new cross cloud interconnect. Now I'm going to give it a name. Next, I'm going to select the remote cloud provider as AWS. I'm going to select a remote location. And as I mentioned for this demo, the location is AWS ITCM2 in Madrid. Next, I'm going to select the same location for Google Cloud. And for this demo, I'm going to select the capacity as 10 gigs. Next, I'm going to select the redundant interconnect connection. And as you can see, all of the populated information is already there. Finally, I'm going to enter my contact information which I will receive any subsequent communication for this order. Then I can click place order and click submit to submit the order. Now that the order has been submitted, you can see here both order numbers and telling us what to do next. Now I'm going to jump over to the AWS console and create a lag for this connection. Now I'm going to request a new connection I can name this similar to the other name I gave in GCP. The location, I'm going to select the same location, Madrid ITCM2. For port speed, this needs to match to be the same as 10 gigabits. And for the number of connections, since I only created a single 10 gig connection on the other side, I'm going to select one connection. Next, I'm going to uncheck the connect through an AWS direct connect partner and I don't need to make any other settings. So I can create click lag. Next, I'm going to create a second lag, which will represent the secondary connection that I've created on the GCP side. So we can give it a similar name. We'll select the exact same location, port speed of 10 gigs and enter one as a new connection. Uncheck the connect through AWS connect partner and then create lag. Now you can see I have both of these connections pending. Now I wait until the connections become down and then I can download the LOA. Now I click the download LOA button. Now under the service provider, I give the name Google Cloud and then I click download. Now for this example, I'm only going to do this once for one port, but you would have to repeat the same process for the secondary port that you've created. Now, as you can see here, I go into my email and I've received an email describing what to do next. And here I have to attach the LOA 
that I've just downloaded from the AWS side so that we may configure and provision the cross-cloud interconnect connection. So attach the LOA and click send. Now we wait, and then the connection is going to be provisioned in the background. Now, as you can see, I have my connection up on the GCP side. I have that connection for the ITCM2 circuit, and I can see here some details about the light levels and the DMARC. If I jump into the AWS side, I can see the connections up. I have a 10 gig port, and I can see some traffic being sent through already. And with that, it's that easy to provision and configure a cross-cloud interconnect connection. Thank you very much. To learn more about CrossCloud Interconnect, please read the documentation and check out the links in the description. See you in the cloud.